welcome to everyone to our um, NORED 21.2. Uh, this is our second session for the year. And um, while I think we're all still working from home, um, there is certainly uh, certainly uh, worldwide optimism as the vaccines roll out uh, through most of the countries. And um, we're all hopeful uh, that at some point in time we'll return to our past former lives. Uh, but for now, um, NORED uh, series um, uh, would like to welcome the NOR offices in Canada, um, as well as the USA and the UK, and a special welcome uh, to our clients and colleagues uh, that have joined us today. Um, the exciting session that we're about to have today is uh, back to the architectural series. And we have Gianluca Palufo, um, who is an architect, and he's with us uh, from his office on the Italian Riviera. But before we do that, um, I'd like to go through the uh, our calendar. And Gianluca, if you'd like to um, move to the next slide, please. So I'd just like to go through the, um, uh, the calendar and um, uh, the, the February one. And some of you saw that session with Roman Scheiber. That was uh, quite an interesting presentation from Roman. Today we have Gianluca and uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, on April, um, and I'm going to start to put the dates as you can appreciate, um, we're firming up the dates for uh, most of our speakers, uh, but the um, uh, our next speaker will be on April the 13th. So if you want to um, uh, put that in your books, uh, we'll be sending that out shortly. And it's uh, Ivano Gianola, uh, who is um, going to be presenting from um, uh, Switzerland. And then in May, it'll be Paolo Desideri, and uh, Paolo will be presenting from Rome, and um, uh, he will be a part of our master series, and he will be presenting on um, Pier Luigi Nervi, and um, that'll be Tuesday, the 11th of May. And then uh, in June, it'll be Jacques Herzog. Uh, that date uh, will be confirmed shortly. In September, we have a change for September, and um, we're going to go back to, and um, uh, there, there actually is a correction that we have to make there. Um, it'll be the Master Series, and it'll be Adele Weber, who um, is a, a, a writer, and um, uh, she will be doing a, a talk on Ron Tom, who is a, a Canadian architect, um, and uh, uh, she's currently writing a book on Ron Tom, uh, uh, which will be out at the end of next year. And then October, uh, John Straub. Uh, and then in November, Carlo Ratti, uh, who is a professor at uh, MIT. And then um, uh, we'll conclude the year with Rick Haldenby. So can I have the next slide, please? But for today, the, the, the exciting part of today is, and I'm sure all of you, uh, and I've had a lot of calls about uh, uh, the heading of today, uh, and uh, I'm going to um, have Gianluca uh, talk about the heading of today. Um, and uh, can I have the next slide? Please, Gianluca. And can you go to the bio, please, Gianluca? Okay. 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 So, uh, Gianluca Pelufo is a researcher at the facility, Faculty of Architecture of Genoa um, at IULM University in Milan uh, from, and from 2019 at the Faculty of Architecture of CORE in EMMA. He is also academico of the School of Fine Arts of Perugia. Uh, in 2018. Since 2018, he has been a visiting professor of architecture at Enna, Enma, Ecole Nationale d'Architecture de Marrakech. For his cultural activity in 2003, he was awarded the title of Benito de la Scuola de la Cultura by the Ministry of Culture, Heritage and Activities. In June of 2017, he founded Pelufo and Partners, a leading 
figure in the international panorama of contemporary architecture. His buildings emerge and will engage with originality in architect in Italy, Rome, Milan, as well as in France and in Egypt. With their presence, they remind us of the possible generosity of, of architecture. Characteristics of their work are the firm's belief that architecture can change the world. What that happiness is the aim of architectural work and that every building, whatever its function or client, has a public role and a meaning. His main place of work and cultural reception is the historic studio of Lucio Fontana in Albisola, in the Italian Riviera, representing the choice of genealogy continuity in the contemporary world through the practice and promotion of dialogue between arts, architecture, and soul. And in my introduction uh, that hopefully you read, it's it's very rare that, you know, certainly in an architect's life, you do architecture and you do research and you're an academic. And certainly Gianluca had, has had the privilege of doing all three of those. And uh, certainly I, I envy what you do um, in your life, Gianluca. Okay. And uh, uh, I'd, I'd like to turn this over to you. Uh, to present your works to us today. Okay. So the next the next three three slides are part of the introduction, but you can probably flip through those and uh, uh, go directly to uh, your presentation. So Gianluca Pelufo. So really, thanks. And uh, Silvio, it's an honor for me to be to be here talking to you, even if it's so sad not to see you directly and not to meet you, but you, we know it's one uh, one year that we live in this way. So uh, for our idea of, uh, of architecture, of course, it's very difficult to, to, to live and to dialogue in this way, but we'll try to, to share and I'll try you to be uh, in sharing with my feelings and with my idea of architecture. So it's really, thanks really to, to Silvio and the, all the team. And uh, thanks to Stefano Puyati, who is uh, perhaps a friend that you know, and he's a great architect. And uh, well, he, is, uh, he has been the connection with you and uh, I have to, thanks, to thank him, uh, of course. Um, well, um, I want to start with some, uh, some ideas that I, I, I'd like to share with you. And of course, what I think, first, first of all, that only if you have a strong identity, you can share and you can uh, understand uh, uh, different peoples and, and different uh, uh, way of thinking. So what is important is, uh, is to have a strong uh, identity. And of course, our identity, my identity is, uh, uh, is a classical identity, in, is, in, is an identity from Italy and from Mediterranean. And uh, well, in our way of thinking, uh, well, I usually use this, uh, these words by Albert Camus because I think that the idea that uh, aesthetics and politics are strongly directly is really an idea that is connection with our way of thinking. And uh, it's really important to, to share this with you. Uh, this presentation will be uh, divided in two uh, parts that are, for me, two ideas of, uh, of architecture, and I call it heresies. Because in this moment, I think that we are not so used to think in this way. So the first, the first heresy is uh, about the idea that uh, architecture is, uh, is first of all the construction of a citizen, in the sense that according to me, according to our way of working, uh, the work of architecture is the is the work of uh, um, of, co of creating of creating uh, the space. Uh, uh, physical and spiritual of connection between the individual idea and feeling with the collective collective ideas and with uh, with people. So um, I want to use this uh, uh, well this word that is a classical word and first of all in the in the the, the theater as a sort of metaphor of uh, my idea of architecture. Uh, you know what is the theater. These one are two images, very interesting, because uh, on the left you see the, the Greek theater, 
And on the right, you see the Roman theater that is a sort of nephew or son or nephew of the of the Greek theater. And what is really great, uh, I think, of the Greek theater is that uh, you can see one part of the of the of the plan that is very geometrical. And it's very uh, well. It, it has a strong ration, rationality in connection with the, in connection with the function, but then you have a, a part of this that is uh, in connection with nature directly. So it's free, or it's something is not free is is in dialogue with freedom. Uh, the word the word uh, theater in Greek uh, uh, derives from uh, a verb that means I see. I observe, and I think that really, you know, the meaning of words and their their roots are really very important in our culture. And uh, I feel that this idea that the theater means to see and to observe, uh, to perceive, it's really important in uh, this idea of architecture. Um, another important word that all of us perhaps know know is is the the, the word the word the chiasmus that is also this one is a greek word and that means a lot of different things in a lot of different fields uh, but uh, i want to say that chiasmus is in architecture is the creation of a space uh, in between is the creation of a space between things between different things and uh, I think that all this, uh, this uh, well, explanation of my work is will be around the idea that uh, the creation of this space in between the different things is the creation of beauty. Of course, theater in this is the creation is the creation of a space between uh, well, first of all, three uh, um, three characters that are the the actor the the. Um, uh, the core and the spectator. Um, why I want to speak speak with you about theater? Because as uh, as I told you before, the idea is that uh, um, the Greek theater is exactly the connection between the uh, people, normal people, and uh, the myth and the idea of uh, of the town. So it's the idea of creating a belonging to the town and to the, the culture of a place. And it, it happens through myths. And I think that this idea of using myth for creating the connection of the singular pe person to the collectivity is really what I feel important uh, in, uh, in, uh, in our idea of architecture. So, you know, we have these, uh, these three uh, elements of the theater and uh, through an action of, uh, of chiasma, through an action of mimesis, through an, ex an action of catharsis, uh, you create the citizen. Well, uh, what is happening now? I think that we can use two words for uh, describing what is happening now in uh, in the feeling and the idea of architecture. And uh, of course, this one is something that I feel uh, with sadness. I think that first of all, we, we live in a condition of uh, anesthesia, in the sense that we live in a condition in which uh, the idea is not to be able to see, not to be able to see reality. And uh, the what is anesthetic, of course, is is not only deprivation of uh, uh, of do of some of pain, but is the deprivation of seeing. And uh, this is very sad. And I think that what happens a lot in 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 architecture in this moment is this anesthetic action. The other word that I want to to use is uh, is obscene. And I want to use it with a uh, sort of uh, forced uh, interpretation in the sense that they want to see it like the uh, obscene, in the sense that the, uh, without the theatrical scene. If we, well, if we believe that theater 
is the metaphor of the creation of a space of connection between people. I think that in this moment, uh, we are working sadness, sadness with sadness, with, with this idea that is very, uh, really difficult to, to accept, that uh, is not important to create spaces of, uh, of, for, of sharing and uh, of creating uh, citizens, but we, we are working in, in, uh, in the idea to create closed spaces, not open spaces. And so not created scene, theatrical scene, but create, creating something of a perfect uh, that is for the, um, the individuality of people, not for uh, the collective idea of, uh, of living. And in all the world, we, we can find similar ideas of, of spaces, of public spaces and of spaces of architecture that are completely empty of soul and are completely empty of scene, theatrical scene. So the obscene present is this, is the absence of, of theatrical scene, is the absence of uh, the connection between the individual and the community. And, uh, you know, of course, uh, like in theater, they use the uh, means. We need means. We need uh, symbols. We need uh, archetypes, archetypes. We need uh, uh, languages. We need to understand uh, the soul of a place to create this theatrical scene. So all my work will have to say that in these years, and uh, it's a long time that I started, it's 25 years that I started to work, is all about this creation of this connection between the individual and the collective. And not to create uh, this emptiness that is not only emptiness of people, it's emptiness of soul, because it's, these places are all the same where, wherever. If I ask you where we are here, Perhaps you can tell me that we are in uh, New York, we are in Toronto, we are in Dubai, we are in Milan, we are in, uh, uh, in Shanghai, we are everywhere. And this one is the thing that, uh, according to me, is a problem. Uh, is a problem because if we lose identity, we lose uh, the capacity to be in dialogue with the other identities. Um, in connection with this idea, <laughs> Uh, I have to say that uh, this present, that for me is an aesthetic, an aesthetic and uh, obscene present, we, we, we make a lot of confusion. And uh, we think that technology can be able to solve everything. Uh, we, th we, we think that the, the development is progress and is not true. We have to, we have to, to ab admit it, that uh, to keep the distance uh, is the way to, to understand better. It's not true that fear and panic are the same things, and it's not true. And like pornography and sensuality, that are not the same things. So, all, uh, all the work that I will show you is, uh, is, uh, is around this idea. Of course, sometimes I, I, was, I have been able to, to obtain this idea and to express this idea, sometimes not, perhaps, but uh, I want to to, well, to tell you that every time I try to, to work in this direction, to create the citizen and to create the condition of happiness of people. And the only way is to share. The only way to create citizens, to share space, is to share feelings, is to share soul, is to share needs, and, uh, and to share histories, and to share all the things that we can, all the things that we can share with other people, and to create happiness and belonging. Uh, I want to start with uh, something that of course is, uh, is very strong in, in this significant, that is the creation of a school. Uh, this, this work is a work that we made uh, in, in, the, in the place in the north of Italy, north the, uh, east of Italy. Uh, around the Palladio's villas, uh, Zuliano is a, play, is a small town next to Vicenza, where there are two villas by Palladio. And uh, this project of school, uh, of course, 
is so important because uh, perhaps, of, of course, all of you know, understand and know that uh, to create a school is, li- is really something of so important because you are creating uh, the roots of, of the citizen. And of course, the first idea is that uh, what you have to, to teach and to create in, in, in a school is the uh, capacity to see. To, to be able to see and to, to feel what you see. This one is the area is an area that is not so interesting in the sense that, that there is not an historical town like, like is typical in, 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 in Italy or in Europe. And so the, the, the architecture was something that was to start from a, a sort of a, a, um, agriculture idea of, 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 of buildings. Uh, meats. According to me, the use the use of meats and of uh, are, are something of arch- archetypical is is uh, is so important in architecture. And uh, for example, in this case, I, I tried to to use uh, the, the the tent. I tried to use the the tree. I tried to use uh, uh, all what is in connection with these two elements. And on the left, you see a. Painter by Piero della Francesca. On, on the right, you see a, a very important architecture in Italy, that is uh, the church by uh, Giovanni Michelucci in, uh, in Florence. And uh, both of them, even if there are uh, five centuries of uh, of delay, uh, are around this idea. The idea that uh, under a tent you 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 create a new world. Under a tent, you can share with others. And around the tree, you can uh, share things, and you can teach, uh, and you can learn. So the tree and the tent were the, the elements uh, I tried to work on uh, in this uh, this project. This one is the, is the first sketch that I made when I was there, and these mountains are the uh, are so important in the history of Italy because these are the mountains of the First World War, where. Uh, 700,000 uh, Italians died, and uh, perhaps 1 million or of people from Germany died. So, are really uh, mountains very, uh, very strong and very important. But they are also uh, very important for people living there because uh, they used to go there, and they, they are so near to to these these places, and they used to go in in the afternoon to have a walk on on Sunday and Saturday. So, they are really a presence that is. Uh, a sort of form of, of, of language, in the sense that, uh, uh, you know, we, in, in, uh, in Italy we have a lot of different dialects. And I have to say that every dialect that is really a language, and is a language that is in connection with the landscape. For example, my language, that is a language of people from the sea, is something that is made to, to reflect on the water. While here, that we are in, next to the mountains, we are in the condition in which uh, there is a s- sort of sound made of M and N, like in the mountains. So, you know, I, f- I really feel that the form of the landscape creates the, 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 the language of people. Uh, these are some sketches, first sketches about uh, the way to start about the, the building. And, and you see, we, we, we want it to be very simple. We want it to be, to create a square building, like, like a, really something for uh, agricultural work, and, uh, but also like Palladian villas, I have to say. And so this one is the first idea. It was the, an idea of complete wood buildings with no uh, opening inside. Then, you know, these ones are, of course, the references that you see that the court inside is really something important, is really important also in the school because it's a place for students, for, for children, sorry, to, to play. This one is the building, is, is, you see, is made of two L. One L is made of the classrooms, one L is made of the services. And then there is this big court inside that is really uh, the, the, the place of the dialogue, the in-between. Uh, children and landscape. So this this uh, this court became made of tents that created this dialogue with the with the mountains. This one are uh, some drawings about this. At the beginning, we we thought for the roof to use ceramics in this way. 
these are some sections where you prelim preliminary drawings where you see this idea of the trees and this idea of the tents. This one are some section, technical section. And this is the roof. This one is the modeling ceramic. You know, my, my small town on the, on, the, on the Italian Riviera is, is, a, is an old town of ceramic. And uh, where Lucio Fontana and uh, a lot of important artists came here to work with, with ceramic, with pottery. And uh, I, I started 15 years ago to make, to make all the models of my work with, uh, in, in ceramic. Because I feel that they can, all, exactly because they are not exact, they can uh, express much more strongly the soul, the soul of the project. This one is uh, uh, the building under construction. It's completely in hood, the building. And this one is the, the idea that, that I had during the, build, the, the construction of the building of the roof, in the sense that I wanted to express this idea of dialogue with, the, with elements, with natural elements. So the idea of dialogue with the sky. Of course, it was not possible for a question of money to, to create exactly this image, but what, we, 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 uh, what I, I did was to work with the simple and very economical elements, and, uh, metallic roof, with five or uh, seven different colors, the colors of the sky. And then inside the core is something of, uh, about uh, happiness, about uh, what is the, the color of life for, for children and for us. This one is a sketch by Michelucci about this idea of trees and of, of roof and of tent. And this one is, is the court inside. Of course, the school is, is, is very important because can be all, it is really a public building. So also they are the happens important things for all the community. And the third uh, uh, mythological element is, is the clearing uh, inside the hood that is uh, the idea of the, of the court inside. This one is the diary of the building with the, with the mountains, as I told you, and this one is the, is the dialogue of the, of the building with the sky. And this one is the, the cover of a, well, an interest, a very important uh, magazine of architecture in Italy that uh, decided to, to, to use a, a drawing of a, of, a, of a child of the school to, for this uh, number about uh, buildings for, uh, for children. And it was so interesting to see this, uh, this magazine, to use this, uh, this drawing, because, you know, it, it seems to, to, to express the idea that we made a good work. OK, this one is the place where I, I worked as a teacher for uh, five years in Milano. And I have to say that it, it, it's really interesting, uh, is to be proud to teach in a place that you, that you built. And this Ulm is a university about uh, art and communication. It's not a university about architecture, but my choice to, to teach there after 15 years of teaching architecture was exactly to, uh, well, to, to learn, not to teach, to learn something. Uh, this one is an area in Milan that is uh, the periphery of Milan, and also an art periphery, mm, or a place of, of old and not so old uh, violence. And uh, this uh, private university decided to create his campus uh, in this area. And it was a strong decision, of course. And the last element of this uh, campus was exactly this building that, is, uh, that we called the Knowledge Transfer Center because we wanted for the university to have uh, inside of, the, of this building elements able to, to dialogue with, uh, with the town with the center of the town. So a big auditorium, a tower of laboratory, and uh, uh, a space for art, uh, for expositions, and something of this. Well, um, the idea was to create the condition of renovate uh, periphery. But what I wanted to do is to, um, is to, to make a, a difficult uh, attempt, uh, is to use uh, the, the, the words uh, and the elements of the periphery to uh, create a new idea of periphery and not set. So to, to use opacity, to use fear, to use, to use overlays, to use uh, also scars, to use, uh, to use abandonment, all the things that are typical of periphery, and to use this element to create a new idea and a new language.
So this one is a very important painter in, in, in Italy, that is uh, Mario Sironi, that is one of the first that in the last century started to work about peripheries. And you know, uh, his, his language, of course, is a language of sadness and uh, of loneliness. I wanted to use the la this language to speak about happiness. And so this idea was uh, translated in this uh, one of the elements of the building. The building is made of five uh, buildings st strongly connected. This one is the tower for laboratory and this is a tower that is completely closed inside, apart from the north uh, front that is in, uh, in glass. It is closed because there is a sort of a spiral to, to walk promenade inside to work and inside the promenade we have all the laboratories. This one is one my sketch sketch about the the, the four fronts of the building. This one is the model in ceramic of the interior of the building. This one is the north front with made of uh, glass, and this one is the plan. You see, we have the tower, the small auditorium, the big auditorium, the school of um, journalism, the exposition building and here the library. This one is the, is the uh, north facade made of this element of glass that uh, I, I draw. And this one is the section where you see that we you know Milano as, as a flat uh, section everywhere. And here we create a, a sort of compression in entering then uh, an opening here with a small core, then again a compression under the big auditorium that is of 700, 700 uh, uh, people. And then the connection with the, uh, with the, the, the green area here, and this one is the exposition, exposition room. You see here the work between uh, opacity and this ceramic that we create for uh, for this, uh, for the auditorium, uh, this ceramic is, ab is able to create light by itself. You know, Milano is not a, a, a light that is so uh, so blue and so so strong, but is a bit, a bit a sad, a sad light. So we create the, this idea of a material that is able to create light, while in the tower we work with opacity, and of course with industrial elements. This one is the interior of the auditorium. This one is the, uh, the spaces of the connection, the in-between space. This one is a section where you see the spiral all around the building and then all the laboratories inside. This one is the tower with the uh, Polytechnical School of Design inside of it. And this one is the promenade all around the tower for 10 uh, levels. This one is the, the front of the exposition hall, that is in, also this one is a memory of industrial uh, past of this space, this, this place. This one is the exposition by Fabrizio Place, he was the, the beginning of, the, of this building. This one is the movie that, that uh, we made with Ernesto Caviola. Ernesto Caviola is, is the photographer that, uh, that uh, made all the work for us since 20 years. And uh, she made this, uh, this video, this short, uh, and uh, they, they win the, uh, the festival of uh, Athene uh, with, uh, with this, uh, this video. Well, uh, this one is a, is a long story in, in, a, in a town that, of course, is, is a, has a long story, that is Rome. Uh, is a work that we made for, well, around 15, 20 years. Uh, I want to start with this plan. This plan is an old plan of Rome, made uh, six centuries ago. Uh, what is really interesting, and I want you to, to, to pay attention to this, is that in this plan, uh, the inside, uh, the interior of, uh, of buildings, of churches, of, of uh, uh, old buildings and of uh, important uh, public or private uh, buildings, uh, it, it's, um, it's expressed in, in the drawing in the same way in which is expressed the public space. And I think this, this drawing is very famous and uh, it's, it's really important for this because there is an idea that there is not uh, uh, 
um, there is a strong continuity uh, between the di- in the dialogue uh, between public and private. This is the idea of our towns. This is the idea of uh, well our culture that the, the connection between public and private, so the connection between community and individual is a connection that is really important and is not uh, simply important, but is rich in the sense that cre- we create spaces of connection. This one is the area where I work at. This one is, is the uh, station of Rome, Italian station. This is the old building that we renovated and we had to create inside of it public spaces because it was a, 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 a building for the ministry uh, and uh, of the interior so it was uh, open to public to the public this one so we excavated inside of it spaces elements in these elements and we created this sort of uh, stairs and of promenade inside of it here you see here here this position to create really a sort of uh, public space inside of course the dialogue is with the with the language of the of the baroque of, of rome but also of the modernity of rome and the other choice the other uh, well the other element that we made the other choice that we made was to, to to work with the total white inside of it because we wanted to express the idea that the, the public building uh, you have to take care to it uh, everyone people working inside and people going there Um, of course, this idea uh, is connected with a strong and important choice of materials, of course, because we know c- clearly that it's not easy to, 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 to obtain a good maintenance of the white, but we, did, we made it and it was okay. This one is, is, is another part of the building that we had to create a, a, an, an orienta- a, a protection from the sun. And uh, what we wanted to do is to create a dialogue between the old and the new, not making simply a, a, a glass facade, but creating this sort of vibration very simply with this element, our five elements in, in repetition in, in every breeze. Um, the only new element inside of this uh, big, uh, big work that we made uh, is this one that is the, the place for, uh, for, for the music in the sense that here the police uh, has, the, has his own uh, uh, banda, his own band, and they, they, they have li- they are the, the place to test music and also all the offices and also the restaurant and the place where to stay. Well, the idea here was to uh, create an archaeology. In the sense that this one is a place, of course, in Rome, that is an old place for a military uh, force of uh, Roman Imperial, uh, but n- nothing uh, is there anymore. Uh, so the idea was to create inside of the building something of historical, even if it's not true, something that can, can be a sort of, a, of new archaeology. So we created this, uh, uh, this uh, archetype, this, this, uh, this form that is a, is a cone, is a pyramid, Inside of it, in concrete, uh, brutal. Uh, inside of it, the, there is a place for music. You can see here, here, and then there is the restaurant. All around, um, there is the space for offices. You see, this one is the element inside of it, and this concrete element is able also to uh, to support the the, the 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 ramp and the stairs of connection of the building some sketches and this one is the work that we made these are the drawings you see and what really we wanted that this this element inside of it was not completely visible we wanted it to be uh, compressed by the offices really like an archaeology really to to put inside the building the idea of time this one is the model in uh, ceramic this uh, is uh, under construction. This one is the section. This one is under contra- construction. And again, this one is the, is the building. 
You see here the idea was the, also the, 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 the relation between the, the, the part of the office is very simple and very defined very, and the concrete that is very is brutal, even if it's not big. This one is the space of the restaurant, of the bar. And from the restaurant, you see these, uh, these elements that are breeze, horizontal breeze, with some colors to create the color inside through the light of the room. You see here the, this, this work with the three, only three colors, pink, uh, yellow, and uh, blue. And this one is the space for the music inside, where uh, Henry Morricone was uh, used to, to play in the last years uh, of his life. Uh, we wanted also to be very simple outside because we wanted really that this archaeological element inside was something that you can image from outside you see you, you can feel it understand it from outside but not not exactly i want to show you if, if, uh, um, a video about this uh, it's short so i hope that uh, you can uh, you, you can love it is you know, I think that what is important in, uh, in architecture is that you have not to be uh, satisfied only by images, but you have to think that the, the, the space is to be lived. So the, the video and the movies are, are really a good way to, to understand the, the, the space, because the space is really what is important in our work.
So another working room that we made uh, and we completed it three years ago, four years ago, is, is an important building because it's the new headquarters of uh, an important bank that is BNL uh, in, uh, in Rome. Um, while the project that you have seen, uh, it was in this area here, this one is, is in connection with another station, is a sort of destiny that, uh, that they had in this year in Rome, uh, to work in the connection with another station, station that is very important because it's a new station of the uh, high uh, velocity uh, connection in, uh, by, by train. And uh, of course, when you work in connection with the station, for Italy, for, for, for our culture, we, we, we go in immediately in a connection with Futuri in the sense with the idea of energies and with the idea of uh, uh, of strong development. Also, uh, uh, well, something of uh, uh, difficult to accept in, in some aspects, because the idea of futurism was, to, futurism was to destroy the past. But I have to say that the energy that they were able to, to express is still interesting in a lot of things. So our idea is to create a, a sort of dialogue between the movement of the trains uh, and the sky of Rome, because this one is an area that is not so historical. So it's it's an area that we have we, we are free we, we are free to express. Uh, but you know, we had a, a great problem because this building was a big building, big big, big for for three thousand people working there, and it was two hundred uh, meters long uh, building. So it was really difficult to express, you know, a front of, of, of building like this. So the idea in connection with this, this idea of futurism and of generosity in connection with the, with light and with sky was to create a deformation of this front to uh, and to use it, to, to make it a mirror to express this uh, deformation, to express the changing of light. So this this one was the, this one are images that we used in the competition. It was a short short uh, list competition that uh, and uh, uh, you know the, the idea here is, is, uh, here was not to make the building to disappear because it was big, but to create the condition of reflecting the sky. So the building is one, we were very lucky because we had an historical buildings here that was to be seen from, uh, from the railway. So we had to open it in this position. So to create a sort of disconnection between the two parts of the buildings. This one is one sketch that they made a lot of years ago when we started to work on it. And this one are some plants. This one are, are uh, the drawings of the, the, the rendering of the, of the competition. This one is, is the mold that we used during the competition to express this idea of, of generosity of the front. And then this one is the building, you see, with this uh, capacity to reflect the sky, to change in every moment, in every day, in every season. It is a sort of boat. Sort of something between diamond and well, boat and something like this. These are some plans of the building inside. It's it's very easy to be to be seen in Rome because you, you have a lot of roads, highway around. So it's really an element that is 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 inside Rome in this moment. Okay, also the, of this one, I, I want to show you a short video, shorter than the, the one before. This one is the model. Of the north front. I go quickly to this and... Uh, okay, here it is.
Okay. Uh, of course, the idea of the video was the the, the connection between the, the the sky of Rome and the way of living of that places of Rome that is a uh, periphery and the, the 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 generosity of the of the building. Well, I, I, well, I will try to go faster. Sorry for for the timing. Um, I want to show you this one, but quickly only to to to, to see the plans. Uh, it, it, well, I have to say that in, in the last. Three years, I, I had well about around seven or eight second places in competition, and uh, well, it's something that is strange because sometimes you are you have a happy, you are happy of these, but uh, sometimes well, it's not so easy to accept. So this one is one of the of the of the project that I loved much more. This one was the project for the Italian Pavilion for Dubai Expo of this year of uh, 2021. Uh, we were second in the competition, and well, of course, to make a competition for for a pavilion is 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 not really a work of architecture. It's something between a, a theater, a scenography, and architecture. So the idea was to create a sort of uh, um, the condition of, of something that is not possible is not possible to describe Italy. It's not possible to describe, uh, of course, no, 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 really no nations. But oh, of course, our history is so strong, so it's not easy to understand and to express it. But you know, uh, in in trying to do this, you, you can learn something. So the idea was to to work with the. With our, also here with a sort of archaeology and creating a so, so, sort of uh, uh, collapsing of time in the sense that you know we, we started with the idea of uh, of uh, um, an old Roman building that is the idea of the town in which uh, was important to express the, the the way in which Italy created the condition of. Uh, uh, of, of, of living in town, living in community, living in landscape. Though the, the other element was a sort of uh, uh, industrial uh, uh, connection uh, in which there was the, the, the expression of the made in Italy of the last uh, century. And then the conclusion was a sort of spiral that is in connection with the, uh, the Divine Comedy by, by Dante, uh, with the idea that this spiral uh, is the future, uh, the possible future of the town. These are some sketches. This idea of connecting thousands of cities like uh, like our our culture. This one is the model in in the concrete that I made. This one is some images of this uh, this idea. I want to go not quickly because uh, perhaps I'm too I'm late. This one has some section of this uh, this old town or the spiral. These are the elements of the pavilion, one by one. And these are all the plans that are, it's, it was very complex, of course, but it, it was really a sort of scenography. This uh, walk, walking inside, and this one is the roof of the restaurant. It was made of a big um, natural elements. This one is the inside of the of the of the old town. With this idea of uh, uh, codify things, codify eating, codify town, codify landscape, codify living in town, like you hear of the Tuscany. And then the, the part of the of the of the made in Italy that was completely in black with technology and with uh, all our history of uh, fashion, of course. And then this spiral that is the end of the of the building. Of course, is a, is a course is a sort of dream, a built dream. OK, this one is the interior of the restaurant. This one was the garden outside. Okay, let's start. But of course, this one is will be shorter, and uh, this one is the second heresy. Gianluca, you have lots of time. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So this one is the second heresy. Uh, the first one was about about the creation of the citizen. Uh, the second heresy is about the idea that to, we belong to a genealogy. 
Uh, and uh, I want to say that everyone belongs to a genealogy, and uh, and on one side you can choose it because uh, uh, every every place, every history, every family, every person, every culture has a lot of genealogies. Uh, but uh, you can decide that you belong to one of these, and you can find it, you can uh, meet it, someone can tell you that you are inside of this genealogy. But uh, what is really important of genealogy is that, of course, is uh, uh, is through times. Uh, time is not is not in the, in the present, in the past, but is uh, wherever. It is strongly in the past, but is completely in the future. It is contemporary, but is really historical. So the genealogy is something of really strong and important. And and I think that in making architecture, we have to understand our genealogy. And the way to to understand, as I told you before, other genealogy is to be clearly inside your own genealogy. So if I have to express my genealogy, that of course is very simple because uh, it's a genealogy that is typical of, of our culture, uh, is, the, is the genealogy of Renaissance, of the Renascimento. And the genealogy of Renaissance is something very interesting, it's strange, because it, it was so power, powerful in, the, in the, its idea of a duality. In the sense that Renaissance was something that has been able, it was something that has been able to put together things that seems to be impossible to put together. So to put together matter and spirit, to put together body and soul. This one is uh, uh, the birth of, uh, of Renaissance, of Renascimento. This, is, this one is Masaccio, is uh, St. Peter. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, this work is a work uh, in which uh, is clearly, is so clear that this idea of matter and of spirit and of soul, in the sense that, that San Pietro uh, use, uses his, uh, his shadow uh, to, uh, to heal the sick, the sick. So, the idea is that a miracle is made by something that declared the existence of the body. That is the that is the shadow. It's strongly in connection with Dante, and it's really interesting also this. So this idea of connection between body and between uh, with uh, with soul and with miracle, with uh, uh, religious and spirit, all these things is 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 what really it was. It is what is really strong in the in the Renascimento, and uh, I think that the, the the power of this idea to put together. Uh, matter and soul is something that is still now is very important to work on, and uh, I, I want to be a sort of a witness of of this uh, this idea. And I think that our uh, our architecture has to be a witness of this idea of putting together uh, this element that seems to be impossible to put together. The other thing that is very important, I think, is that uh, in this idea of Renascimento, there is an idea strong uh, that uh, we are made of the same uh, flesh of the world, in the sense that, you know, in, in, uh, in uh, Renascimento, in, in Renaissance painters, you know, um, bodies, uh, uh, landscape, trees, walls are, are made of the same material, are made of the same... Uh, way of expressing, are made of the same shadows, are made of the same um, opacity, are made of the same uh, uh, power and colors. So what is really strong also in Renaissance is this idea of belonging to the world and that the world is made of everything. Uh, I told you about the idea of the school in which the language is connected to the form of the, of the landscape. And I think that also the, the, our faces are connected to, 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 the, to, the, to the landscape, to, the, to our uh, uh, nature. And, and uh, you know, the, these, uh, the, the Roman sculptors, uh, the, the, the faces of Renaissance are the same because are still in connection with the same landscape, with, with the same idea. Of, uh, of the world. Um, this idea of, uh, of uh, well, of, of architecture that is, uh, that is able to put together opposite things in the same space, in the same idea, 
uh, well, it's in connection, I have to say, with the idea that, that the architecture is a body, is not a machine. And I have to say that this one is strongly an element that is really uh, powerful, of course, you know, we, we, we are all, uh, uh, we lived for, for two centuries, the idea that uh, all the buildings are machine, are to be, have to be, have to be perfect, have to be uh, without uh, problems, without illness, without, uh, uh, they, they can't, uh, well, they can't have problems. Uh, I think that is not true, and uh, what we have to think of usually is that, um, in general, is that architecture is a body, and like a body has to dialogue with other, with other bodies, with other people, with the, uh, with other, with the landscape, with with uh, with town, and so this this dialogue is to be made by language, and that we have to create every time the new, a new language for this dialogue, in the sense that if. Uh, uh, our diamond is uh, is the connection with people, is uh, in terms of objectivity. We have to create a language for this. And also in architecture, we have to create every time the language of architecture to dialogue with the world. And in this, for example, you know, uh, Rinascimento has the, these two uh, uh, these two soul inside. You know? On the left, you, you know the idea of perfection, the idea of uh, of proportion between the, the man and the world. Uh, but on the on the right, you see also the idea of body, of sensuality, of uh, strong uh, belonging to the nature. So these two spirit, these two souls of the of the Renaissance are together, and it's very important to feel this. So uh, when we when we have to work in uh, in some condition in which uh, we have to dialogue with something of different or something that we can't understand, it's really important to remember our genealogy. And uh, I will show you three projects uh, that we made: uh, one in France and two in Egypt. Uh, this one in France is uh, well is a lucky project. I believe mean, uh, we we spent a lot of time to make this because we started in 2000, uh, uh, I think nine, uh, yes 2009, and we spent uh, four five years to well not much more six years to to complete it to complete it. I mean if we are we were in France and not in Italy, and uh, this one is 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 a work. Uh, uh, Interesting because you know in Marseille is is a strong town, very difficult, very very rich with a lot with a strong stratification of of histories and of culture in the past and the present, and it also is strange because it's it's it has a, for us it's strange because it has a sort of a north north south orientation. And uh, the, the, ar the old arbor that is a, a Phoenician and Roman arbor is inside of the town, and all the new arbor is going to, is has been built in this area in the north. So this area of of the old town, this one is is in a, a renovation with the tower by Jean by Jean Nouvel, with the with some buildings by Massimiliano Fuchs and other architects, and we made the work. Uh, for we may, we won a competition about the uh, the old docks. You know the docks are something that you can find also in, in the same way in, in a lot of town, in a lot of uh, arbors around the world. You know uh, these are these big and uh, sad building uh, made to store uh, materials, uh, and of course it's very difficult to to create a, a, a new uh, life for these buildings. These these uh, these docks in Marseille were at this uh, strange sort of uh, hotel, uh, Parisian particular in front, but the building is a repetition. It's so long; it's it's uh, uh, more than three thousand uh, meters of uh, long, and it has a four court inside, like the seasons uh, that you, as you can see here, and uh, well. Uh, you know, when 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 you 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 arrive in a place that you you don't know so so exactly, even if and, and well, when you know you go in, in an arbor like this, you, you there is a risk that that you can feel that is the same of other arbors. So is is you have to understand what is different there. 
from other harbors, from other, for, from other town or on the sea. Um, in this case, we, we used the narration to, to express this, and we, we, we thought to the history of this building with all these materials coming from the Mediterranean, from the sea, inside of it. So a sort of uh, uh, big, big quantity of nature and of, uh, of colors to go inside of it. So um, we, we worked on this, uh, uh, on Rousseau, the, the, that is these uh, great painters in, in, in France in the last uh, 19th century, that it was so interesting because he was not able to, to travel uh, at all in his life, but he was able to uh, to create images of other worlds. And uh, so well, this one was the image that we had, uh, one of the images. The other image was uh, the image of, uh, of Mediterranean. And uh, the image of Mediterranean is an image in connection with, uh, well, I have to say that uh, in connection with the color, with the blue. Uh, because blue is a ceramic, because blue is a, is a sky, because blue is a sea, and uh, you know you can feel the different the differences of blue uh, in the different different lights in inside Mediterranean. And it was it, it is a sort of a, of a metaphor or, or of the dialogue of Mediterranean. Uh, I want to show you this this short uh, uh, video from uh, this uh, this um, this film. This video is. Uh, well, it's something that uh, is sort of, of, of inspiration of, uh, of this project. I don't know if you know this movie, but uh, it's, it's an history of, uh, of uh, two uh, guys uh, that uh, were not uh, brothers, but they had the same mother. Uh, this mother was in the north of Africa, and one of them of, was for France, and they, they lose uh, one of these, the, the, the French guy, one, one day, and then he, he, he came back to to north of Africa to look to to look for his uh, his mother and his uh, his brother. Pourquoi venez-vous faire ce scandale chez moi Nourice, je suis Azur. Je ne sais d'où vous tenez cette histoire, mais votre imposture ne vous mènera à rien. Vous n'êtes pas ce garçon. Il est sorti de ma vie. Retirez-vous. Maurice, je suis Azur. Azur est de l'autre côté de la mer. Maurice, j'ai traversé la mer. Azur n'avait pas votre voix. Maurice, les garçons changent de voix. Azur n'était pas aveugle. Sa pisa hir ya sil kabir ya kta uluid ya nyat finiran wa huwa yukhalis huriyat aljan man ya ishan bihada Ça a marché. 
so what what we we wanted to to do is is to create this connection and the, the, the connection that is uh, of course uh, um, made of this color of this blue and uh, we we put inside of this uh, this court uh, completely uh, well sea of of ceramic um, all the different colors and uh, simply of course this was this is a work also this one about uh, well, scenography is not really, of course, a work of architecture, but is a work about uh, emotion and uh, creating a new life of, of a place. And um, of course, also the, the, these elements are technical uh, elements of of, of new uh, in, in, of renovation of the building, and uh, we, we we use this uh, this blue and this ceramic to also to solve this problem of a connection from outside as you can see here. And the other element was nature, as I told you, that we wanted to, to put inside of it, and we put there also artificial and, and real nature, you know? so with ceramic, with metallic elements, with animals, with all these elements. And of course, also this one is a sort of idea of generosity, you know, of creating happiness and light and enjoying inside of, of the building. But with an idea of belonging to the history of a place that uh, is an history of uh, of all uh, world from abroad coming there. Like, uh, you know, like the, the, the books of uh, our childhood and uh, all these things that we, we, we all dream, dream, uh, dream about still now. You know, it's always difficult to, to build a dream and uh, from a dream. But well, here we I think that we have been able, and here we, we worked on these uh, stairs of uh, of uh, security outside to create a sort of a, uh, narration with with uh, with a lot of words uh, in connection with Marseille, with Marsiglia, with Marseille. And this one is the cover of, of the plan that is a magazine of architecture about this building. Okay, uh, I want to close with these two projects uh, in Egypt that, well, Egypt has been uh, for me a sort of uh, uh, reconnection with 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 the genealogy in the sense that uh, uh, I've never been there, but I have to say that the first time I've been there, like in in Morocco or other places, I, I felt a, a sort of a, a different time, uh, but different time from what I'm used to to live, but a time that seems to belong to me. And this one is typical also for of, of all uh, the people inside of Mediterranean or the, around Mediterranean. That uh, there are places that where you can find that you belong to something. I want to show these two images. These are two Italian sculptors of the Middle Ages, and you can see the, the incredible differences between the two sculptors. On the right, you see the the, the Greek and the Hellenic tradition, of course, of uh, Nicola Pisano, that is beautiful work inside of churches. Uh, on the left, on the left, you can see a work about a pope, and uh, and you can see the the the, the eye that is uh, well a sort of Egyptian image. Uh, also, the position of the of the hand that seems to belong to something that is not Italian, of course. And uh, the fact that in the Middle Age, Ages you can find something of Egyptian, of um, 1,000, uh, 1,000, uh, well, 10 centuries before, uh, 20, 10, 10, 10 centuries before, is uh, is really amazing and is really interesting. What I want to say is that uh, there are some forms some elements that uh, uh, like uh, like they, they move uh, 
on boats in, in Mediterranean and they belong to to everyone and uh, you, you can find elements that uh, in time uh, gone no? like the, the like train in, uh, in night the first work that I made in uh, in, uh, in Egypt was this uh, this town is a town for uh, 30,000 people is a new town and uh, well, it, it was it started like a touristic town here in, uh, next to Suez, to 100 kilometers from Suez. But then uh, in, the, in this position, but after this, uh, it it became uh, also a residential town because the new capital of uh, of Egypt will be built in well around uh, half an hour from here, in in between here and uh, El Cairo. So this uh, this town will will be not only a touristic town but also a residential town for for housing and for living there. Uh, the area is uh, is very very difficult because it's a strong uh, is a de mountain desert on the sea on the Red Sea uh, without anything there. These are some images by Ernesta in of this area. Um, as I told you about the about Marseille and about the, the, the arbors, also for the desert we can say the same. Not not all the deserts are the same. Uh, not all the all the, the mountain deserts are the same. Uh, for example, here you are in front of the sea and you have a, a different light. You have a different composition of stones of sand, and you have to feel it. You have to understand the soul of, of this place that is different. The first work that I made is a, is a work about uh, <clears throat> Robert Smithson, that is an American artist that I, I, I respect so much. Uh, and uh, well, what I felt uh, going in this uh, mountain desert is that the only thing to do was to write on the mountains. And to make a town is to make a town made of words, words written on the mountain. So some places were uh, and something like a novel, you know, with a lot of words, some uh, sing, single mo single mo single uh, words, some some poems in other situations. Uh, so th the idea was to create a really a, a sort of uh, of, uh, of novel on the mount, written on the mountains, to create the soul of the place. So this one is one of the first uh, form of the of the land, of the master plan. What changed uh, after a lot, but you see the idea was to to use the contour lines to write words, to write novels, to write poems. And for this, the, the, what we try to explain to our client is that uh, you know, in in uh, in, uh, in general, the culture. Uh, is that you 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 make you you make the master plan and then after someone else will do the architecture. What we try to exp to, to explain is that uh, the idea of the master plan has inside the idea of architecture and of the language of architecture. So what we we try to 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 do with with a strong effort is to create immediately the language of architecture for this master plan, and we try to use uh, two elements. The first element is that this place has a 360 degrees uh, of view, in the sense that you have the view on the sea and you have the view, the view on the mountain. So there is no one view. Uh, so the idea is that uh, the building was uh, a, a body with eyes, was a sort of body to see, to see everywhere. The other element was the wind. And what you feel there, you go there, <coughs> you understand they feel well, because there is a wind from north that is, is really good, and you feel very well there, even if you have 40 degrees. Uh, so the idea of the wind was the other idea, strong for uh, for this place. The idea that this wind coming from the north it was something of uh, uh, able to create the form of architecture. So the view and the wind. And so the idea was that these buildings had to have to have eyes and and to have elements able to work with wind, 
for both for energy and for quality of life inside of the buildings. So these are the first work that we made uh, during the, the master plan inside of it. And then we we the other element was that we wanted to have that this this town for this town to have a history to create an history even if the town was completely new so we 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 made in in this uh, in this working on, on the language the idea that perhaps someone was able was uh, was uh, arrived there and found the town with the construction of element that is typical of this culture with a tent so the idea that a lot of elements inside of the town were made of tents concrete tents like this as if these elements are older than the others so to create we created this uh, this element this uh, this villa tent villa that is uh, of course the, the, the rich buildings for the town but uh, we convinced them and the, the, the they had a, a strong success in these to create a lot of these elements because it was was an element that is was in connection with their history and also in dialogue with the form of the mountains and on the roof you can walk and you can have a view on the on all the town and all the, the, the and on the sea and on the mountains these are some images of the work there but first of all i want to show you a video uh, because they, during the, the project of the master plan, they asked us to, to create a video for uh, Egyptian TV uh, for their uh, communication. And uh, of course, this one was uh, something that was not in our uh, work normally, but we, we created this uh, uh, as to explain this idea of wind and, uh, and uh, of view. And uh, I want to show you because it's something that I think you can, uh, can express in, in a good way. Uh, the, the idea of the building. Okay.
Okay, so um, well, what I showed you this this work that of course is not a really a video of architecture, but it it was the idea that um, these two elements of the wind and the of the view was the two elements able to create architecture. These were some images of the work that uh, that started in. Uh, five years ago and uh, still now is uh, the phase one is going to be concluded these are some uh, elements of villa four these are the drawings and you can see here the dialogue with the mountains of course it is, is really a, a difficult work and big work and still uh, up to this year i went there every every month to to work on the on the site this one is the one of the roof of the one two hundred uh, villa four that we created. And uh, you see that what is incredible is that is that seems to be that the, the concrete is is really to to dialogue with the with the mountains with with nature with desert. You know, is is what is uh, really strong in this uh, in this work. Is one of some images of uh, last October. And here you see the the, the, the rule of these uh, these villas as uh, to create really a sort of a different time inside of the of the town. This will be a, where there will be a big lagoon inside of the of the town. And, uh, these are all the. There are around uh, 100 of different typologies of uh, of buildings in, inside of it. This one is phase one of the building, of course, of the town. You can see here. What what happened here is that uh, after. Two years of working together with uh, with Egyptian clients, uh, and with this transformation of the of the town in a residential town, they asked us to 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 build a mosque. A mosque. And it was really well something of, of uh, to be proud in the sense they asked to us that we are Catholic, we are uh, from Italy to to design their uh, much much more important. Uh, buildings for them because you know they they, they have a stronger uh, relation with the, with the religion they they, uh, they pray three or six times every day and all of us above all of us so it was uh, really interesting to work on it and of course it's very difficult and also here we, i asked uh, to be helped to to an artist and uh, I, I remember that the, the, in my Study is that uh, Paul Clay had uh, this um, made this trip in the, in the beginning when he was very young in the, in uh, Tunisia, and uh, that trip was something for him to op that was able to open his way of uh, of uh, of seeing his act of seeing, and I thought to this and. Uh, for for a reason, the fact that you know when when you speak about a religion and building for uh, for a sacred building, uh, in general you you, you think about uh, abstract language, or organic language or abstract language. I was exactly interested in this. Why there is a there is a natural connection between religion and abstract language. And of course, Portly is is in connection with that, with the abstract uh, painters, but he's not he's not abstract. He is strongly in connection with the, with the, with the place. Uh, you can see inside of this work of of uh, geometrical uh, colors uh, the feeling of forms, forms of buildings, form of forms of uh, something that is uh, real. And I wanted to create this in this building. I wanted to create this reaction to the light and to the colors and a, a, a dialogue between man, landscape, and spirit of religions of religion. Uh, you know that they use uh, carpet to pray, and this is very interesting because they use carpet for two reasons. One is for the direction 
of course, to the Mecca. And the other one is that the, the carpet is exactly the dimension of the person. So there is an element like the carpet that is geometrical and colored, that has a direction, that is a direction uh, at, at the level of the world, and is connected strictly with the man, with the, with, the, with the man, with the woman, with the body. So uh, the idea was to understand how to create this connection between the man, the place, the building, and the religion. The other thing you know that uh, Muslim religion culture is iconoclastic, so they have not figurative elements. And this one, of course, is, is much more strongly in connection with abstraction. And so you have light, you have words to work on. Uh, the place is this one. This, this, the, the images that you have seen is all of the phase one of the town that is all around here. And the, the building of the mosque is here. It's not in the center like in the, our occidental tradition, not to put the, the church and the public building on the most important square. They decide to put here in this position because they don't want it to be uh, so public. These are some images of Italian architecture I'm working on. This one is the first sketch. And you see here, I started to think about this element to create light, this canon of light to create uh, light inside. I was working with these sketches about this. And uh, I wanted to create, uh, as I told you, a dialogue with with landscape and then the dialogue with the religion and then the dialogue with, with body of people. So the material of the buildings was very important. I wanted the material not to be abstract. So I decided to have the material very connection with concrete, very connection with the dialogue with colors and elements of the place. But the form was to be abstract. So the building is made of a repetition of these elements that is able to create light inside. This element in the, in the front, the, it is uh, also the, 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 the form of the building. The direction to the Mecca is the direction, the big hole for man and the, the smaller one for woman that are divided. And the elements of services are uh, around, not in, in that direction, to give much more force to this direction. This one are the first uh, work that uh, the beginning of the work that you see. We, we were thinking about how this, how to make this, and the structure has to be very very simple as you can see here we want to really that this element where the element was to be the element of to express the language of the building this one is the the space for women you see a sort sort of it, it is a sort of naked building and i have to say that uh, as a lot of in connection with the Architecture by Paul Rudolph, by well, I don't know, also the Corbusier in some some aspects in this brutality and simplicity. These are some details about the woman uh, mezzanine. This is the is the big hole. This one. This one is the image from from outside. Some other drawings of details that we are working on. This is some work that we made about this element. And that, well, the, the fact is to work uh, with this idea, as I told you by Paul Clay, and this idea of carpet. And the, the idea is that every one of these elements add inside the color. And that the carpet was a projection, projection of, the, of light on the, on the soul and also on people. So the color is made by, by light. It's not uh, made by 
the carpet of everyone, but every one of these elements is a carpet. This one is the model in, in pottery that I made with uh, my friends, and, uh, and this one is the, the beginning of the work in October of the last year, inside of the town. Okay, we conclude with uh, with a short video about uh, this uh, this building, and uh, well, really sorry for my for the long time, and uh, I hope uh, has been interesting. It is without sound. Okay, thank you very much. Gianluca. Okay. You 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 are our, our first architectural speaker for this year, and that was an inspiring presentation. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I, I can't thank you more. Um, we're going to um, uh, open it up for uh, some questions. I think we've got uh, we got about 10 minutes. Uh, Ilana, I'm going to turn it over to you. And um, uh, do you have... Uh, questions from the group uh david cluzier wrote the question earlier on uh, i think it was uh, the lab building uh, what are the exterior stairs are they for emergency exit or are they part of the regular circulation uh, yes they are both both for uh, security and both for uh, normal circulation both of them uh, so we used uh, part of it uh, to, to express an idea of architecture, but it was also for uh, security. Helena, uh, I have another question uh, for Gianluca. It's David uh -huh. speaking again. Um, I mean, I have to thank you for the presentation, incredibly poetic uh, vision and uh, many fascinating projects. Your whole approach is amazing. Uh, and I ha can't help but c compare it to the work that uh, is, is there in North America. And one of the questions I have is just about how you get work, who are your clients, and the competition process that you are responding to. What are the kind of criteria that would, uh, well, that, that clearly there's a whole way of doing things that is different that would result in the kind of uh, opportunities and, and the projects that you are doing. And I'm kind of curious if you could elaborate a bit on that. Okay. Well, uh, of course, in, in every place is, are, there are different ways. Uh, in Italy, in general, um, well, the work that, that work, the works that you have seen, well, first of all, are made by, by competition, by public competition. And uh, the competitions are in, made in different way, and they are made by project or by economical offer. Uh, the private, uh, well, some private uh, uh, clients uh, look at for us directly, but uh, for example, for the bank, uh, there was a competition between the three architects that were called by them. Uh, 
uh, in Egypt, for example, we we had been called. Uh, there was a call for a call for twenty um, architects around the world, and uh, at the end we were in two, one by from Spain and us, and uh, we may we went in uh, in uh, Cairo to have a. Uh, to have a dialogue, to have a meeting, and to express our ideas, and then uh, it was the way. Uh, well, in general, first, what mm, the work that we have seen are all about uh, competitions. And uh, well, I don't know in uh, North America how it works, and uh, I've seen that also there there are uh, interesting competitions. I don't know is, if if also private. Uh, made, mm, make competitions or or uh, are only public, but in Italy are both public and private are competitions. So are the competitions like idea competitions primarily, yes. or are you coming well, in with a guaranteed yeah. price or anything like that? Uh, well, um, half and half, in the sense that for for uh, for example, for Egypt, it was uh, not about the, the price, but it was about the idea of the town. Uh, that was to express with uh, uh, similar our projects, not with the project, but with our curriculum, with our portfolio, and with the speech. Uh, in general, in Italy, our, uh, the projects are made by ideas, idea of a project that are made in, with small uh, drawings in, in uh, well, not big uh, work. Uh, the only one, perhaps, with the big work that we made in competition was the competition in Dubai, that we didn't win one. And uh, in the other ca cases, our work with uh, with portfolio with small ideas, short ideas. Thank you. You're welcome, Gianluca. The um you, you you must have um, a, a lot of requests for uh, competitions, and how do how do you make the selection between them? I mean, do you do, you, do you, is is that a difficult choice, or do you do have certain projects that you you're interested in? Well, no, I try to. I have to say that we we are not so big. So, uh, well, uh, we started um, up to five years ago uh, when I was in, in, in with uh, with other partners. We were in uh, fifty people. Now we are in uh, twelve, so we are uh, small. Uh, we decided to do this because I wanted to work with this, with a uh, few people, with not a lot of people. And in general, we do around uh, well, project for architecture. We do uh, ten every year. Of architecture, and uh, while on uh, with the uh, economical offer and uh, small uh, short ideas, we made uh, around twenty every year. Around, yes, it, it, it's a it's a strong work. Yeah, it's a, it's an hard work, but you know we, we have an experience to to do these since a lot of years. So we try to we I think that we try to be able with with very very good uh, architects to be very quick in uh, in having ideas very clear very quick and then to 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 work with in a short time this is the idea thank you <laughs> to use experience in thinking and in working well that's great i uh, uh it, it was a fantastic presentation i think the videos really i uh, thank you for the videos because i think that they really added a lot of quality to it yeah. as uh, as david david Cluzio said i mean the the one thing that came kept coming through my mind was the uh, um, poetic part of this presentation. Um, it was uh, it was a great way to start our architectural uh, presentations this year. Um, the art and architecture was very much uh, uh, appreciated, and um, I, I really have to thank uh, Stefano. He's not on the line, but uh, yeah. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure he's busy. Uh, but I really have to thank uh, Stefano Pugliati for uh, who was our guest speaker in December of last year, right. as most okay. most 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 people know uh, that are on the line for introducing uh, you to me, and um, uh, we're very thank grateful you. that that you made this presentation and. Uh, we really hope to uh, that we will see you uh, either um, uh, on, on on this side or on your side. I'd rather come to your side and uh, be on the French, ri ri the Italian Riviera, than be in Toronto. But uh, hopefully, we'll at, at some point in time we'll see each other. And yeah, once again, thank you very very much.
Thank you. It's been a pleasure, really. And, uh, you know, poetry is the only thing that we can share, I think. So is what we have to work on. Thank you. My only question, my only question is why I came to uh, Toronto. I should have stayed in Italy. <laughs> um, for those of you that are on the line that uh, have the um, have the sheets for the um, um, OAA and um, the AIA, please fill them out and um, send them to uh, Patricia or to others. And uh, for everyone else, hope to see you for the uh, next NOR Ed next month. And once again, thank you to all that are on the line. And thank you once again for Gianluca Palufo. All oh, the best. Ciao. 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 ciao.